Hey everybody, Chris Farad here. Welcome back to The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Um, well, I'm kind of starting to put some theories together that could be way off, but uh, I'm starting to think that, you know, we, we heard in these rooms that um, the family was like blaming Ethan for all this crazy stuff that was happening. Uh, but then we found out, like, he wrote this story about a magician's room, which was kind of that really colorful room that we found. Uh, but really what happened was that Chad, this guy, was making moonshine. It was illegal. And he caught us, like, maybe spying on him or what have you. And by us, I mean Ethan. He caught Ethan spying on him and uh, obviously got really upset. Could be motive for, you know, the vanishing of Ethan Carter. It's possible. And the other situation that we had where we were up in that spaceship, that ended up being like his treehouse. So, could just be that he has a very active imagination and he's writing these stories. But, uh, who knows? Like, who really knows? Okay, I'm not sure if we want to be going off in that direction. I'd like to check this house one more time and see if we can enter or not. I'm thinking that it was only being used for... Okay, it's open. Good. I think it was only used to, like, map it out and, you know... Some of the rooms you could kind of tell look familiar, but it would be very hard to memorize the whole thing. I just kind of went with, like, the, the layout of the house and what would make sense. Here. Interesting. It's a cool little cutaway inside of a massive rock. I mean, generally, I think it probably makes sense to stay following a path, but when possible, I'll kind of go through the forest to see if we find anything. What's going on over there? Do we have, like, a fire? Whoa! People come here for many reasons. They want to ask me questions about the future. But I can see the future. So it is the past that interests me. If you want to find my house, you must answer the questions I ask of you. Okay. Would you rather be a leaf or a root? Leaf or a root? Do you admire thieves for their bravery or their greed? Bravery, greed? I'm just kind of taking these down because I don't know. Does sin come from the heart or the mind? Heart or mind? I have a feeling we're gonna to need to know these. Feel there is vanity, charity. Vanity and charity. Do you feel victory when your words cause pain? Not really. Is cheating truly unfair to others? What the hell? Oh, here's another story. A beautiful woman sat by a river. A witch approached and told the woman she was to have a child. The woman began to cry with joy, but the joy turned to fear and she could not stop crying. Fear turned to sadness, the woman continued to cry. She cried for months, hardly sleeping until the child was born. But the crying had aged the woman, and she was no longer be beautiful. When he was old enough, her son climbed the mountain to find the home of the witch. He asked her if she could make his mother beautiful again. The witch asked the boy many questions, just like we just experienced. After hearing the answers, the witch told the boy she had lied to the mother about her child. The boy disappeared, and the mother was beautiful again. Huh. It 
It's interesting, so on this side... Oh, he just like... Huh. Fear turned to sadness. The woman continued to cry. And here it just said the woman was crying more and more until he decided he didn't like that and rewrote it. It's interesting. Even the point of life is not to rock the boat. Just try to get along. Stop living in your head. Do something real. That's what people respond to. Reality. Family's not very supportive of my writing habits, it seems. This is the same one. Note from Ethan's mother. This is probably Missy. Ethan, honey, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I want you to keep this note and read it every time I lose my temper. I don't mean it, and I know I got a snake's tongue. You're my little guy, my precious bean. You just gotta pull your head out of the clouds, okay? So maybe this is kind of where we would come to, to hide out. And I guess the witch could kind of be the significance, or could signify our mother. I keep saying our, like, I know that we're playing as as Paul Prospero, but um, I'm trying to kind of, as the detective, I'm putting myself in Ethan's shoes, right? And trying to, like, retrace and build, like, what the hell's going on with him and all this craziness that's happening here. here. Oh god. This is what I think it is. Oh, this is creepy. Why is there blood here? Signs of a struggle. Several different footprints, but no trail. So maybe lifted? Victim was killed or wounded? What did we just stumble upon? Oh, we've got a huge church here. His arms are broken off. Before we go in there, I just want to check these little... I don't know what these are called. I want to say mausoleums, but I don't think that's what they're actually called. Just because there was blood close to these. Oh, what do we got here? Bahinian Star, Wing of the Crow, Crow's Foot, Nero Cross, Witch's Foot, Broken Cross, Death Rune. Sacrifice to Klepoth? Whoa. Interrupted work could be. Oh no. No. Don't make me do this. Holy shit. Please turn on a light. That did nothing. Oh. Where's the crow? <laughs> okay, it's outside. 
Oh, I know exactly where that is. Let's go grab that. Should be this one. There it is. Let's take that. Run it back underneath that thing. <laughs> it just gives me the creeps going in these things, like... And it's just pitch dark. Alright, now... There we go. Whoa! Oh, whoa. I recognize him from the picture, but I don't know who he is. What does this say? Here lies my beloved wife, Amet Vandergriff. So this is that old guy's... wife's tomb? No blood, so he was stabbed post-mortem. Minimal bleeding. Blood streaks, back wound. Single attacker, multiple attackers. I'm gonna guess he could have been put in the wheelbarrow. Alright. Let's figure out what's going on here. Oh, we can take this? Trying to tell us something. If I strike this again, that's not going to turn this out. Alright. Oh, here we go. We got something else going on. These are a whole bunch of crows. Brush bucket crow carcasses. They cut open the crows to do this, and then used it to paint maybe that sign. This is where the dagger came from. Okay. We're getting there. Is there anything else in this room that's different than the way it is now? Perhaps this drawing on this side? No, that was there. Alright, so we're missing something. What that is yet, I'm not sure. Let's keep looking. We do have this church over here. What's interesting is like there's that one little patch of blood, right? And there's no, like they didn't get dragged or anything. If he got lifted there, it would be very difficult to not have blood trail behind him. Which is telling, oh, what's this? Burnt matches. Oil can. Where's the oil lamp then? Uh oh. I don't know where this is, but it looks like it's dark. And it's in this direction, which means it's probably in the church. Well, let's see if we can find this thing. Oh my 
my god. Seriously? Can I get some lights? Here it is. I want to get the hell out of this church. Oh my god. Oh. I do not like that. All right. Now, how that plays in, I'm not sure, and we're probably going to have to recreate this here. Come on. There we go. We know the daggers last. And it looks like we're going to have four. One, two, three, four, it looks like. So, what's going on here? Are these guys, they're out looking for him. Is that the brother again? I think that's Travis. But that's a different guy. That's a, that's a different guy that's not even the one that's downstairs. This is the guy that ends up getting killed or sacrificed, what have you. Oh, maybe that's not post-mortem. So these guys are fighting, but she would have no reason to come and just stab him like this. I think probably they were looking for him first. And then this is where they find him. That's what I'm thinking. Or maybe they start talking here. Then they... Well, but this is a different person. That's the thing. I'm not sure where he comes in. And they find him here. They try to get him in there, but he's like maybe freaking out. Runs away. Gets on top of that other guy again. Let's see. And then that's when she stabs him or threatens him. Our boy. Chad is putting our boy in that crypt. And bricking him up. Giving him to the sleeper. Okay, so they're Forever. all in on this. So that's our dad, or that's Ethan's dad and his mom. The hell's going on? Where's oh, okay, so we don't have that right. So, this guy that got killed. Interesting. So that's the father. This could be. Hmm. So they're saying, okay, we see him, we see him doing this. Which means he's still got to be in the picture. Yeah, it could be here. Let's put that as second. Third. Because this is all the father. And then that would mark him as... That would mark that last one as the fifth. Where they have Travis. 
Beautiful woman sat by the river. A witch approached and told the woman, Our boy. Why is that happening? Chad is putting our boy in that crypt. And bricking him up. Giving him to the sleeper. Forever. And Chad's the one that we found doing the moonshine, or Ethan found doing the moonshine. Chad, let me see. Okay, so that's not it either. Why is this happening? There we go. Oh, it's weird. It's like every time we press spacebar, that comes up. Let me see. Maybe this goes here. So maybe they say, oh, maybe they're going in first. It looks like he's kind of ashamed there. I'm not sure. Our boy. Chad is putting our boy in that crypt. And bricking him up. Giving him to the sleeper. Forever. You know he's harmless. You know this is wrong. Here we Chad, go. Finish those bricks before he wakes up. Yeah, see, he's trying to brick up the door. And he goes down. Chad, let me see it. Get the hell away from me. He should have been helping. Dale's weak. He always has been. You're right. He is weak. Chad, get off of him. He's your brother. Get off of him. Whoa. <laughs> And then now they're going to look for him. He gets away. The hell's going on? Where's Ethan? The one who sleeps must not sleep. Your Uncle Chad is dead. So that's her brother, I think. Ethan. So Missy's the mother, Chad is the uncle. Travis is the brother. Dale, I think, is the father. And it seems like the mother is like father's thinks the father is weak it's not right Ethan's our boy dad I need to get into the mine what mine my, my key I, I don't have it I guess I'll use the tunnel near the gate just just keep mom away from me all right she's sick you're all sick Wow Wow. Oh, no. Sleeper what? Our boy. Chad is putting our boy in that. You know he's up. Chad! Oh, the hell's going on? It's not right. Ethan's our boy. Dad, I need to get into the mine. What? Mine? My, my key. Uh, I don't have it. I guess I'll use the tunnel near the gate. Just, just keep mom away from me, all right? She's sick. You're all sick. I wanted to know what he's going to say about the sleeper, but he's not going to say it again. Damn it. Okay, well, that's another one figured out. Now I'm not sure which way we're going to have to go, but probably up behind that church. Wish me luck.